for summer months, we want to make sure that we're hydrated. Uh, and a number of you have heard this many times. Uh, if you've heard it, you're going to hear it again. If you haven't heard it, um, you want to try and drink at least 12 ounces of water, ideally, before starting your workout. So just food for thought going forward. Try and have a nice glass of water before we get going. Uh, not too much that you're waterlogged, but enough so that we can really use the bands to their best advantage. Okay. Yesterday, we had no cardio. We were just doing pure strength the whole time. Uh, today, we're going to pepper in some more cardio into the mix. Uh, but it's not going to be pure cardio. We'll still have some strength in there because I know all of you would be very upset with me if I did 100% cardio. So with that being said, bands are on, arm bands, get those cycles going. Uh, if there's anyone I have not met, my name is Laurel. Welcome to my living room and our workout. Uh, let's go ahead and stand up to get started. All right. The bands are on. Pop your cycle into your favorite setting, usually starting on group, either low or medium, depending on what you're feeling today. Um, and let's go ahead with just some stretching to open up the upper body before we really get into it. So draw some big, exaggerated circles with the shoulders. Good, move them around the other way. Sometimes when I do this, I experience some crunching. I got some tightness in my shoulders. All right, and then arms out to the side. Start to move the shoulders around with the fingers extended out by the side. Just waking everything up, working through it. And other way. Reach the arms up, clasping the base of the hands, big stretch up and overhead, over to the right. And then over to the left. And come back to center, release the arms. We have our upper body exercises, starting with the form. Our intervals today are 40 seconds on, 20 seconds rest. We're doing two sets of each exercise. So because it's a shorter interval, I want to see faster movements uh, within the range of space. So forearm fireworks, I extend my arms up to the sides, make fists, punch them down, and then actively explosive fingers out. Out, let's go, 40 seconds. Working into the forearms, keep pulling your shoulders away from your ears the whole time you do this. So we're not shortening that upper trapezius muscle and we're really activating our forearms. Good. Forearm fireworks. Nice. Now we did full minute intervals yesterday, so because this is shorter, I want to see faster movements. So that's the stuff. And really squeezing your hands as you remake the fist. Explosive. Yes, eight. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Shake it out. Roll the wrists around. Get some good mobility work in there. Good. And let's set on up for our second that pull the shoulders down, extend the fists away from the ears. We're going in four, three, two, second set, forearm fireworks, nice and fast. And I've noticed, maybe you notice this in your body or not, that my forearms are often not incredibly sore after we do our workouts. So what does that mean? That means I have the potential to do a little bit more. So really working fast, even if it feels like it burns in the moment, knowing that the forearms are capable of a lot. Good, out and in. You're really extending through the fingertips. Boom, squeeze. Yes, now they're burning. There we go. Last 10, fast as you can possibly go. All right, all right, all right. We have five, four, three, two, and rest. Next exercise is a narrow push up. Now, this is not a normal push up, it's specifically targeting our triceps. So, I recommend starting doing this push-up on your knees before coming into plank position. So contrary to a normal push-up where my elbows go out to the sides ever so slightly, this one, my elbows shoot straight back behind me. So demonstrating going forwards, instead of my elbows going out, my elbows go straight back, hugging the body the whole time. So if you come into plank and you're doing your narrow grip push-up, it looks like this. If your hips are sagging, I'm going to call you out. I want you to drop your knees. 
So we keep the elbows in the whole time, okay? First set, let's set on up. We're going in three, two, and one. 40 seconds, narrow grip push-ups down and up. These ones are really hard. I suggest taking them nice and slow, pausing and plank at the top to make sure your form is good, and then only bending the elbows so much that you can control the weight of your body going down in one straight line. Now, I'm noticing elbows flaring out to the sides a little bit. I want everyone to tuck them in and almost keep your bicep rubbing against your body as you do it. It's a very specific form because we want to get into the triceps nice. That's it, good. Give me two more, five, four, three, two, and rest. Awesome, tricep stretch, right arm across the body. Switch it up, left arm across the body. Good, make your way back down. Second set, we're going in three, two, and one. Tricep push-ups down and up. And these are called narrow grip. Because instead of the elbows going wide, they're shooting straight back behind me like arrows the whole time I'm doing it. Nice, Bonnie. Yes. Jeff looks great. And as you're doing this, you're activating your glutes the whole time to help keep your hips off the floor. Awesome, Ty. Good. Everyone, pull your biceps in even more, just like we would for our bicep curl. Hugging the body. Mm-hmm. We have 10 more seconds. Let me see two, maybe three more, but make them good. Six, four, three, two, and rest. Great. Everyone up to stand. Bicep curls, we know this one very well. Um, because we have no weight and we're not using the weight of our body, you can set your setting to be a little bit harder should you choose. So elbows in. So just like we did for those push-ups like this, this time we're gonna flip our palms to face up. I want you to grab imaginary weights, pull it in 90 degrees, in 90 degrees. So it's a short range of motion and you're really pulling at the top. So imagine you're like, you have weights or you're grabbing something that you want to draw in towards your body, okay? First 40 seconds, ready, set, here we go, bicep curls. Let's keep the pace fast. Pumping, squeezing. I almost feel like those bands are a little bit too tight as we do these. That's what we want because we're contracting the muscles that are directly underneath the band. Pump. There we go. You want to go fast? Go fast. Good. Nice. Get them up. There we go. Last 10. All out. Pump. Eight. We have five. Four. Three, two, and one. Shrug the shoulders. All right. Second set. Arms in by the sides. Pick up whatever you're holding. And we're going in three, two, and one. Nice and fast. Pump it. Squeeze. Yes. Pulling the biceps in towards the midline of the body the whole time, too. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Arms should be fatiguing already. Squeezing the fist the whole time. That's what we want. Up and up. Good. All right. Good. Okay, keep it at 90 degree angle. Last 10. Good. All out. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Shrug it out. Shake the arms out. Okay. So we are getting a heart rate up twice during our upper body section. Um, the first 30 seconds is jumping jacks. We know these oh so well. The second 30 seconds is saw to the left. So I go up, down, up, down. The second 30 seconds is saw to the right. I go up. So as I do this, I rotate onto the toes of my back foot, come down, up, down. Okay. So first 30 seconds, jumping jacks. We're going in three, two, and one. Here we go. Get that heart rate elevated. And then we have two more upper body exercises. Awesome. Great. And the saws are nice because they're no impact. 
just a lot of core work. Good. And eight, we're going to jump wide and go right into soft. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Grab your imaginary ball or something. Rotate up, down, up, down. 30 seconds. Good. Keeping those arms nice and straight, using our core to rotate through and our hips. Nice. Last 10, then we're going to go right to the other side. Good. Bend those knees. Get even lower. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Other side. Drop it over to the right, up and over. Nice. Good. Rotating onto the toes of the back foot. Woo, we're tossing something big. Nice, good, half done. Get those arms going even faster. Good, last seven, six, five, four, two more, three, two, and one. All right, next up, plank, reach times three. So I come into plank, I reach my left arm forward, out, back, right arm, forward, side, back. Each time you reach, I want your body to stay still, and I want you to go up as high as you can. So make it a really powerful reach. As you're reaching forward, we're getting into shoulder mobility. As you reach into the sides, we're working our back muscles. And as we reach back, we're working our triceps. So making each one nice and meaningful. Come on down into plank. 40 seconds. We're going in four, three, Two and one. Three part reach. Out. Side. Back. Other arm. Forward. Side. Back. Keep going. Nice. Making sure that my hips stay squared off facing the ground the whole time. Yes. And noticing as you're in plank that your wrists are stacked underneath your shoulders. Sometimes we tend to walk them forward a little bit. Perfect, Jim. Good. We've got 10 more seconds here. Oh, these are great. Good. Five, four, three, two, and one. Drop the knees and rest. Now, these are one of my favorite things to do to stretch out the shoulders for mobility. Three big circles with the left arm. Take it back and back through. So I guess it's more of a rainbow. Good. Two. And last one. And right arm, three of them. Back and tap, forward tap. Good, two. My hips are not moving. And last one. All right, walk back into plank. Second set, 40 seconds, ready, set, here we go. Reach forward, side and back. Other arm forward, side and back. There we go. Amazing. Good, half done. Nicey. Yes. Good. Last 10. Give me two more rounds. Six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Drop the knees. Give the wrist a break. Roll them around. And our last exercise for our upper body before we come up for our second round of heart rate is forearm pike plank, leg lift. What the heck is that? Let me show you. So I drop my forearms down and I walk my legs up. So I'm in a pike position. I lift alternating leg, kick, 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 and kick. I don't know. If you're feeling really crazy today, you can jump. Up to you. Okay. My forearms stay stable the whole time. I'm loading my arms by lifting my legs. Okay. So make your way onto your forearms. 
Walk, walk, walk your feet toward your hands. Come into pike position. 40 seconds in three, two, and one. Alternating leg lift. Up, up. Really get those legs high. Kick, kick. We want to march as fast as we can. Good. And the reason that I keep my hips up, keep going, is so I'm weighting my forearms, my shoulders, even more than just being in regular forearm plank. I'm using the weight of my butt to make myself stronger. Awesome. And we're getting a nice hamstring stretch while we're here. Good. Leading with those heels. Kick the legs up. Nice. Last 10. Breathe through it. Good. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Drop the knees. Ooh. All right. We've got one more set of those. Give the shoulders a shrug. Make your way onto your forearms. Walk, walk, walk your feet out towards the elbows. In pike, we're going in three, two, and one. 40 seconds. Up. Up. Yes. Really give me a vigorous kick with the legs. Awesome. Good. Upper body does not move. Keep going. We're also improving our flexibility as we're doing this. So yes, it's a lot of weight on the arms. It's hard, and that's exactly what we're going for. 15 more seconds. If you can walk your feet closer towards your hands, go for it. Great job, Instagram. Good job, Zoom. Mm -hmm. Last eight. Let me see four more kicks. Five, four, three, Two and one. Everyone hop on up to stand. We've got 30 seconds jumping jacks and then 30 seconds of saw each side. We're going in four, three, two, and one. 30 seconds jumping jacks. These are always harder with the armbands on. I got things flying around. Good. Keep jumping. All right, half done. Maybe pick up the pace, why not? And last six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop into that squat position, grab your imaginary ball. 30 seconds, up, down, up, down. Rotating to the core, working the muscles of the back, specifically the QL, which is the lower side muscles of our back. So we're giving them a nice twist here. Have done. Woo, get it up. Maybe imagine you're tossing something really heavy. A little extra force to get that thing up there. Good. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Other side. Drop that ball down. Up and over. I love it. Great. Good. Bend those knees as you sink down. Woo, up, up, yes, last 10. Don't even have to jump to get the heart rate up. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo, deep breath, grab a sip of water. We always want to stay hydrated. And let's swap out our arm bands for our leg bands. Go ahead and swap those up. Instagram, we always have a question of the day on Zoom, which is going right here. And feel free to toss your answer into the chat. Zoom. The question of the day is, what is your favorite book? And if you can't choose a favorite book, who is your favorite author? All right. I know Steve's going to have a good answer. No pressure there. <laughs> And it can be a comic book. I don't care. What's your favorite book? I'm going to wait until I get... Okay. Ty says, not a book, but the Unwanted series is my favorite. Hmm. What is it then? Never heard of it. 
<laughs> like, what's your favorite book? He's like, well, it's not a book, but <laughs> this is what I like. All right, popping bands on, getting ready to get rolling. Rick Reardon, cool, I'll have to look that up. Thank you for the answer, guys. All right, I got my two, I'm happy, we can keep working. Steve says, Shackleton's story of surviving in the Antarctic. I am not surprised that Steve's answer is about survival. <laughs> All right, go ahead and get our legs working. If anyone wants to answer, they can toss it in the chat. Don't forget your water. Jim says, thinking fast and slow. These are cool. I'm enough to check out all these different options that I had no idea about. All right, hop on up. Couple rounds of butt kicks. Let's open up the quads. And see if you can tap alternating heel to hand. All right. Now, a couple rounds of frontal kicks. Open up the hamstrings side to side. Warming up our lower body before we dive into the work. Awesome. Get toes all the way up to fingers. Boom. Great. Four. Three, two, and one. All right, starting with the calves, we have heel lift and pull. So I pick my heels off the floor. I pull, pull, lower. Pull, pull, lower. Now, if you really want to challenge, try and do this without letting your heels touch the floor. So lift them up, pull, pull, hover. Pull, pull, hover. Your choice, okay? So we've got 40 seconds, my feet are parallel. We're going in three, two, and one. Heels up, pulse, pulse, either lower or hover. Pulse, pulse, you know what to do. Mm -hmm. Try it without letting your heels touch the floor at all. Also challenging our balance using our core. Good. Hover, yeah, that's it. And as you do this, keep growing tall from the top of your head. Imagine you have that favorite book or maybe even your favorite author sitting on your head. Don't let it fall. Good. Last six. We have four, three, two. Lift and hold. Little pulses at the very tip top. Give me 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five. That was sneaky. I'm sorry for three, two, and rest. Kick it out. Shake it out. All right, one more set. Feet are parallel. Get the heels off the floor. We're going in three, two, and one. Pulse, pulse, either lower or hover. Pulse, pulse, lower or hover. Now we're not going to pulse at the end here. If you want to pick up the pace, go for it. Good. Half done. Ooh, let me see it fast. Yes. Last 10. Up, up, hover. Up, up, hover. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Aye, my calves are burning. I felt that one. All right. We're doing the heart rate boost three times throughout our lower body workout. This is our first time. 30 seconds jumping jack. Ready, set, go. So this is jumping jacks and only one of our exercises is the only jumping we're doing today. So it's not too bad. Good. Pick up that pace. Whew. Your heart's saying thank you, even if your brain is saying uh uh Last seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Jump wide. Come into a squat. Grab your imaginary ball. Drop it over to the right. 30 seconds. We go up, over, up, down. Yes. 
I want to see you fly. You are moving so fast. This is a very safe exercise to do, and it's great for your core. That's it. Ooh, all in. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop over to the left. 30 seconds. Here we go. Nice. Good, half done. Bring it out. Now's the time to pick up the pace. We have seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Whoo, good job. Okay, so this one's fun. It is a slightly mobility and balance centric exercise. I call it kick punch for lack of better name. I find my left hand and my right leg. For 40 seconds, I'm going up, up, alternating arm and leg, kick and punch. Now, what I don't wanna see is this. I want you to keep the left side of your body straight and strong, kick, kick. Get that leg as high as you can. Do 40 seconds, 40 seconds. We breathe and we do it again, okay? So find your right leg, your left hand. Here we go, in two. And one, up, up, that's it. And I don't care if it's really slow because you're working the balance or if you're like jamming out. Either way, get that leg as high as you can. So what are we doing besides looking ridiculous? We're strengthening our outer right hip and we're increasing our range of motion. Mobility, very important. And we're working our balance, great. Yes, that's it. Mm -hmm. Good. 15 more seconds. Making sure the left side of your body stays nice and straight. So we're really squeezing through here. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Right to the other side. Up, up, hunted. Maybe it's slow motion. Maybe it's super fast. Whatever you need to do to keep the right side of the body straight. Awesome. Get that leg even higher. There we go. Cool. Mm hmm Good. Harder than it looks. Last 10. Good. Give me four more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Hands on hips, step the feet wide, rock side to side. Release the muscles you just worked. All right. Second set. Starting with the right leg. Shifting my weight into my left leg. Get your right, your left hand strong. We're going in three, two, and one. Kick, kick, kick. Now make sure that you're not kicking forward. You're kicking out to the side, so we're working into the hips. Keep going. Yes. Great. Right, totally fine to take it slow. Keep the balance going. Awesome, Jeff. Maybe you even take it in super slow motion. And you go up and down. Your choice. Or fast. Good. Last 10. Good. Get that leg as high as you can. Last opportunity to do this today for five, four, three, two, and rest. Good job. Let's go right to the other leg. Shift your weight to the right. Get your right hand going. Left leg. Here we go. Up. Up. Woo. Good. Or fast. <laughs> you get to choose whether this is cardio, strength, or a bit of both. Nice. I like it. Last 15 seconds. Good. Give me all you got for 10. Get those legs up. We can do it. We can do it. We're going to use this for our next exercise. Five, four, 
three, two, and one. Now we're going to roll right into our next exercise because we're using that outer hip strength and the flexibility of working that leg out to the side. So step really wide. We have Cossack squats. One of my favorite exercises for strength and mobility. And you can make these really, really hard on yourself just by using your own body weight. And it's no jumping, so we're good. So my feet are almost parallel. I have a tiny external rotation of my toes to the side. Now, I want you to keep your heels rooted into the floor the entire time you do this. So no lifting your heels, not either one. Take a generous bend into your left knee. Sink your butt as low as you can. Press into the heel. Come back up through center. Bend into the right knee. Get your butt as low as you can. Press into your heel. Come back up through center. 40 seconds. Let's roll through it. If you want to make it harder, take your hands behind your head. Now notice that the heels stay down the whole time. Keep moving. And if you have your hands behind your head, keep pressing the elbows open so we don't round out. Awesome. These ones I want you to go low and slow. So get in there. Sink that butt down. Ho! Oh! I amazing. That mobility. Wow. Great. Half done. Sink your butt even lower. This is how we grow stronger. Last 15 seconds. Good. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hands to hips, circle it out. Other direction. All right. Second set. You can either keep your hands together for stability or take your hands behind your head. If you're doing this, make sure the elbows stay pressed back. No cave building the whole time you're doing it. 40 seconds. In four, three, two. Here we go. Side to side. Drop your butt low. Press into the heel. Rise back up. Other side. That's it. After this, we're going to get our heart rate up. We're going to take a water break. And we're going to keep jamming. We have three more exercises to go. Yes, 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 yes. Good. Amazing. Last 10. Oh, wow, guys. These are really great. You're getting lower and lower. Even if it's hard, I know this is something we often have to work into. Not a lot of people can get their butt to the ground, nor do you need to. But the point is, you work towards it. Four, three, two, and one. Let's get our heart rate up, and then we get a break of water. 30 seconds, jumping jack. On your mark. Get set. Let's go. Light on the toes. Maybe you could challenge yourself keeping your heels off the floor the whole time. Good. All right, all in. Last 10. Give me fast. Six, five, four, three, two, and hop it wide. Over to the right. Stop. Up, down, up, down. Good. Take a little bend into the knees as we drop our butt down. This is our second of three heart rate boosts for the lower body. Good. All in. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop it over to the left. Last set. I think out of jumping jacks and saws, these ones are actually harder. Yeah. Half done. Woo, clean that fall up. Good. Give me four more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. Working into the balance and the strength with one pendulum swing. We've done these before. 
So I pick my right foot off the floor. I hover it. I lunge back, hover, forwards, hover, back, hover, forwards, hover. Do your best to keep that right foot off the floor the whole time as you come through center. If you absolutely need to, you can lunge back, tap, forward, tap. But try and work the strength of the left leg to pause in the center, okay? First 40 seconds, ready, set, here we go. Back, hover, forward, hover. Keep rolling. Good. And as you work through it, try and step back nice and far. Get that knee down towards the ground. Kaziah's having a day. Today's your day, girl. These look good. Awesome, Lily. Good. I see, even though I can't do the whole body, I see that pause in the center, and no one's toppling over. So the work is great. Last six seconds, then we're going to go right into the last leg. In four, three, two, and one. Take your left foot off the floor. Time is rolling. Lunge back, hover, forward, hover. There we go. Good. Use your core to pull the knee up in the center. Oh, man. I promised water. We jumped right into lunges. I'll have to take water after this one. Half done. And how fast you go doesn't matter here. Maybe take it slower and get even deeper into your lunge. Imagine that you have a book bounced on top of your head the whole time you do it. So the body is not moving. We're controlling the lower body instead of compensating the upper body. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Quick stretch. Go ahead and step your right foot back. Good. Bend into the left knee. Keep pulling the right heel back towards the floor. Getting a stretch across the quad. Switch sides. Step your left foot back. Sinking your hips down, but lifting your chest up, creating space across the front of the left leg. All right. Second set of these. Working into the right foot again. Hover your right foot off the floor. Good. We're going in three, two, and one. Lunge that leg back. Hover. Forward. Hover. Back. Up. Forward. And up. And if you're wobbly, good. You can probably benefit from doing these. Great job, Instagram. Good. Last 10. Then we're going right into the last leg. Then we'll get that well-deserved sip of water in five, four, three, two, and one. Hover the left leg off the floor. Last part of this set. Ready, set, and go. Lunge back and forward. Lunge back. Get your knee down and forward. Whichever lunge you're in, thinking about getting the back knee down towards the ground. Pendulum lunges. I see you guys so often, sometimes I gotta make some weird stuff up. <laughs> Good. Mm -hmm. Last 15. Work through it. We know we get a quick pause for water after this, and we're going to get our heart rate up for the last time. Eight, seven, six, five. Awesome, Jim. Four, three, two, and rest. Water for everyone. We've not taken enough breaks today for that. Please take a sip. Please sip. No gulping or chugging because we are going to get our heart rate up. And then we have two more exercises. Just enough to quench the thirst, and then we'll keep rolling. And once our work is done, you can drink as much water as your heart desires. All right. 
last heart rate boost of the day. Make your way back to your mat or your workspace. We're going in three, two, and jumping jacks. Here we go. That's a step. All right, give me 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Saws to the left, up and down. Last ones of the day. Let's make them great. This is us. Chucking the Stanford Sports Posse out the window. Two, two, five, four, three, two, and one. Other side, here we go. Good. Thanks, straight arms up. Up, yes, half done. Uh, last 10, pick it up. Good. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Take a breath. Kick it out. Okay. Next exercise, 90-degree squat jumps. Now, before we get terrified, there are modifications if we need them. What I'd like to see, the fullest extent of this exercise, is I rotate over to one side. I squat, jump. Jump, jump, jump. So I'm rotating my squats on a 90 degree axis. Now, if that's not working for you today, you squat, step, 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 step. Okay? So either way, three different squats facing different directions. Okay? 40 seconds. We're going in five, four, three, and two, squat, and either step or jump, jump. It can be a baby jump, but I want you to keep working through those squats. This is like the hardest thing I think we're gonna do today. Awesome. Keep moving. After this, we get to come down under our hands and knees after the second set. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Last 10 seconds. We've got it. Even if it's a baby squat, keep moving. Eight. We have five. Two more. Four. Three. Two. And rest. Kick it out. All right. Second set. Step over to the other direction. Drop into that squat. We're going in three, two, and one. Yes, keep going. I know it's hard, but don't stop now. We've made it this far. Last time we're getting our heart rate up on Wednesday, July 8th, 2020. Yes, 15 more seconds. Woo. All right. 10. Good. Give me three more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Good. A couple butt kicks to release the quads. Okay. So we haven't done this in a while, but today is a great day to do it. We're doing 30, 20, 10 of mountain climbers. So we're going to do 30 seconds of mountain climbers. And in that time, I want you to count how many mountain climbers you do. This counts as one, two, three, four. You've got it. Or you can be like one, two, three, four. Whatever works for you. We're gonna do 30 seconds. We're gonna rest. We're gonna do 20 seconds. And then we're gonna do 10 seconds. So make your way into plank position. We've got 30 seconds. In three, two, and one, go. 30 seconds. As many as you can. 
Awesome. All right, all right. You can do it, you can do it, last 10. All in, go, go, go. Four, three, two, one, drop your knees. Give me your numbers, how many? Instagram, feel free to uh, shoot them in the chat if you want, in the comments. And Zoom, let's see what we got. How many do we do? 58. 58? Yes, I love it. We got 58, 65, 55. Awesome. Good. George, you're about to orbit into outer space. You're moving so fast. Good job, game. All right. Now, my challenge to you on this round is to try and get as many as you got on the last round. It's only 20 seconds worth of work. So push yourself that extra mile just to see if you can do it. And if you don't, it doesn't matter. But if you can, awesome. Okay, so we've got 20 seconds. Make your way down into plank. We're going to start again in four, three, two, and one. 20 seconds. All out. Let's go. Ty's flying. Good. Four, three, two, one. Drop your knees. How many did we get? Jim says 50. 50? I can't see the, I can't see the other hand. <laughs> Ty says 50. Bonnie says 53. Ty says 61. Oh my goodness. Look at you guys go. I love it. Good job. Okay. So, I got 61. Amazing. Okay. So, we've got 10 more seconds. I don't care how many you do. I just want to see you move as fast as you can. Okay. This is our last push of the day. So, we're going to drop down, do some core, quick core, nothing too crazy, and then we'll take our bands off. Okay. 10 seconds. We're going in three, two, one, go. Fast as you can. Don't even worry about counting. Just get your knees in. Use your core. Go, 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 go. Yes. Five, four, three, two, and one. Amazing. Drop your knees. Make your way onto your butt. Extend your legs out. Take a hamstring stretch. All right. So for our core today, we're going to slow down our heart rate a lot. So go ahead and root your feet into the floor. And my challenge to you is don't let one single one of your toes lift off the floor the whole time we do this exercise, okay? So this is a derivative of Pilates, which is a system of exercise that is strictly created to work your core. So it's hard stuff. Extend your arms forward. Arms stay in line with the shoulders the whole time you do this. I'll demonstrate. I roll back as far as I possibly can without letting my toes lift, and I reach right back up, sit up straight, okay? So we're going to do this for one minute, and then we're going to pop up our bands, okay? Ready, set, here we go. Now, I want you to think about rounding your spine out here as you come all the way down. Keep your fingers reaching towards your heels, and then pull yourself right back up without letting your toes lift off the floor. Now, if this is a piece of cake, do this with your legs hovered in tabletop, but... The trick is, I don't want you to let your legs move the entire time you're doing it. So you're only working the upper body. Or working the core, more like it. Good, last 30 seconds. Half done. Good, keep working into it. Slow is the name of the game here. <laughs> Someone on the Instagram just commented the <sighs> face. <laughs> awesome job. Good. Last 15. Whichever position you're in, squeeze your knees together to help activate your inner thighs, to help you control your core, so letting other muscles help. Amazing tie. Good. Four, three, two, and one. Everyone hop on up to sit. Take your bands off.
one minute of stretching and I will set you free on this fine Wednesday afternoon or evening, depending on where you are in the country. All right.